the undefeated Gilberto Zurdo This guy is on a mission. Oh man. It's his own Zurdo right now. That is it, and that's all. It's going to be a terrific fight. Someone's going to get knocked out for sure. Ramirez and Yudievsky Gonzalez, Mexico contra Cuba, live from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas. I'm Bethel Duran. Excited to be joined by all the fighters competing on this action-packed card brought to you by Oscar Deloya of Golden Boy Promotions in association with Surdo Promotions, Bet Online, your online sportsbook experts, and you don't want to miss this fight Saturday the 18th, available on the zone. Tickets still available at Ticketmaster.com, so get them while they last. So we're going to bring you the fighters that will be on the card Saturday. Chris Maddox, Sergio Mora, Ty Grisha will be on the call, but opening up the show, we have a action-packed fight. Two ladies are going to be going at it. It's time to be joined by the fighters that are going to open up the show. 6 o'clock Pacific, 8 o'clock Texas time. First up, former WBA World Minimum Weight Champion from Mexico City, Anabel Avispa Ortiz. Bienvenida, ¿cómo estamos? Bien, muchas gracias. And her opponent making her first title defense. That's right, the first title defense. Right, the Olympian from Houston, Texas, WBC flyweight champion, Marlene Esparza. How you doing, Marlene? I'm good. You good? You feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling really good. Oh, uh, your first defense. Yes, excited. Yeah? Excited. Yeah. It's going to, you know, it's diff there's a difference between having, getting the belt and defending it. So I'm really excited about it. It's going to be a good fight. You're fighting in Texas, and everybody tells us that Texas is amazing, right? Whether if you're Houston, San Antonio, or Dallas, Fighting not too far from your house, how does that feel? It feels really good. It's good the first time that I'm going to be fighting in Texas. So it, it's not a long commute from Houston, maybe about three hours. So for to be in Houston and defending it for the first time in, in Texas, a lot of people from Houston can come. So it's exciting just to be in Texas, period. But you fought all over the world? The I Olympics? Am. And the first time you're fighting as a pro in Texas? <laughs> yes, it's the first time I'm in Texas, and I'm really excited about it. But I have been all over the world. I've been in multiple, multiple places. Oh, you ran out of passports. <laughs> I ha actually, I did have to renew it and, you know, get more pages and all that. But, um, you know, it's the first time I'm fighting in Texas and it's for, you know, my first title defense. So there's definitely a lot going on and i um, excited to put on a show, especially around people that I'm very familiar with. Our translator for today, Christopher Diaz. So, Anabel, ¿cómo te sientes? How was uh, tu entrenamiento? How was your camp? Todo bien, gracias a Dios. Todo marchó muy bien. Sabemos que es un nuevo reto, una nueva división, pero todo salió excelentemente bien. Anabel, ¿dónde colocaría a Marlene en contra de Marlene? No, no, no. ¿Qué dice ella, verdad? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She says this is a new challenge in her career, and she's really excited to move up in weight, and training camp went really well, so she's really re well prepared. There we go. All right, we'll get it all figured out right now. I can translate, but not as good as Cecilia and Christopher over here. All right, I got to be in Spanish, so I can't do that, right? So, Marlene, for you, though, getting the belt at your last title, how did that feel, finally? Um, to actually finally get, get, get the belt that I wanted and get a world title uh, was, you know, it was one of the best experiences of my life including the games, uh, definitely um, satisfying. Y Anabel, para ti, tu última pelea contra Ceniza, perdiste. ¿Qué pasó? What happened? ¿Qué pasó? Me ganó Ceniza, fue una mejor peleadora que yo. Eh, yo siempre lo dije, los tiempos de Dios son perfectos. Y nada mejor que dejarle el título a una buena campeona, una buena peleadora. Yo siempre lo dije, cuando pierda va a perder con las mejores. Y así fue. Y, y, y pues ni modo, así son las cosas del boxeo. I lost against a great fighter, Sinaisa, and I've always said I'm a warrior, and I lost to the best, and I always give my my best. And Marlene, without looking past her opponent, but that's what we're doing here, right? 2022, if everything works out on Saturday, this division, who do you want to fight? Um, I'm really just looking for all the all the belts. 
So, you know, you have a world title, I definitely want to fight you. So I'm really just looking to be the best in my division, and I need to make sure that I have all the belts in order to, to say that I am. And you'll see that Saturday live at 6 o'clock Pacific, 9 o'clock Eastern, opening up the DAZN broadcast, Anabel Ortiz La Vispa, the Ciudad de Mexico against Marlene Esparza, making her first title defense from Houston, Texas, right here in San Antonio. Ladies, let's face off. Tickets still available at Ticketmaster.com. Golden Boy Promotions in association with Surdo Promotions. Main event, Surdo Ramirez against Unieski Gonzalez. This is our opener on the zone. Marlene Esparza against La Vispa Ortiz. There it is. That'll open up on Saturday on the zone. All right, ladies. Thank you very much. Good luck. Buena suerte. All right, so that's the opener on the zone up after that fight. It's gonna be a good one. We saw both of these gentlemen compete in July at the Bank of California Center, home of LAFC football team. And the super featherweight showdown for the vacant NABA title, desde Managua, Nicaragua, the former WBA world featherweight champion, El Gemeno, Rene Alvarado. Gracias. And his opponent, Representing Team No Excuse in Washington, D.C., Lamont Roach Jr. You can clap for yourself. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. As always, Christopher Diaz will be our translator. Uh, Rene, empezamos contigo. Esta pelea, ¿qué esperamos? What do we expect in this fight? Bueno, primero que nada, pues, gracias a Dios, ¿verdad? Por la preparación que hemos tenido. El campamento ha sido un campamento muy, muy bueno. Y esta es una gran oportunidad contra un gran rival, creo yo. First of all, I'd like to thank God. It was a great camp. We had a really good camp, and we're going to come with everything. Lamont, you've seen Rene fight. You were there the last fight. Actually, we were doing a broadcast. You were there, and you said, I want to fight him. I want to take him on. Why Rene Alvarado? Uh, you know, um, I, I originally wanted to fight, you know, Gutierrez because he was the winner of that fight. Um, I wanted to fight the winner of that fight regardless. Um, Gutierrez is a little busy. Yeah, Roger Gutierrez. Yes, Roger Gutierrez is a little busy. And uh, Rene is definitely the next best choice. He's a warrior. Um, he's going to come with everything, like he said he would, and that's what we expect. So it's going to be a great fight, and it's definitely going to be a great show for me. Yo, speaking of Roberto Diaz, Eric Gomez, President Golden Boy, there's some guys that say, oh, Rene Alvarado, yeah, I'll fight him, and then get a contract. Oh, <laughs> not you. Oh, of course not. Of course not. I need this type of fight, and this is the type of fight that I've been asking for. So. And now you get it? Why did you want this type of fight? Because this is the stage that I belong on. Um, my skills are superior, um, and I, I'd like to show that. Rene, for you, there are fighters who are fighting against you, but sometimes they forget that you're a champion. They forget that you're a champion. Sometimes they overlook you. Sometimes they don't have respect, or they don't give you the respect. Why is that? No, we came to do a good job. We want to give a good presentation. We want to take this triumph for the people of Nicaragua. Y obviamente puede dar esta felicidad para todos los amantes del boxeo ¿verdad? de Nicaragua. Yo creo pues, que, como te repito, es una gran oportunidad para mí para volver a los grandes escenarios y para volver a pelear un título mundial. Yes, um, we just want to bring the title back to Nicaragua. This is a great opportunity for me and, and our team. And we just want to put in the work and bring that title back to Nicaragua. World Championship title. Tienes más experiencia. You have more experience. Is he ready for you? ¿Está listo para ti? No, venimos eh, con toda la ambición, con todo el deseo de sacar este triunfo. Yes, we came with all the ambition to, to get the win. Lamont, for you, you know, you came up, people asking, okay, this is a top prospect out of D.C. Okay, he's doing it. He's getting matched well. Where's the power? You know, people asking that. Do you need a knockout to show people or to shut some people up? Because I know you get mad about that, too. Your question: Do you think I need a knockout? Do I think you need a knockout? I mean, I'm not the expert here, but if you get a knockout, it's going to impress some people. So yeah, I would say you need one. Okay. Well, once it presents itself, I'll definitely take that opportunity. Um, like I said, he's going to be there to get hit all night. Um, and you know, we're not overlooking him or anything like that. We know that he's a well-respected champion. 
uh, former world champion. It's only two fights removed from a world championship. So, um, you know, a knockout would look great. Um, but I'm going to tell you one thing. The Reaper's going to be in there that night. And, and the Reaper got, got two bodies back to back. And I'm going for three. Going for three in a row. All right, all right, so Saturday night, that's the next fight. The second one on the zone, Renee Alvarado, tough as can be, always brings you a great fight. Lamar Roach Jr. under, with only one loss, you know, bossing for a world title. You can put that on the line Saturday night. Face off right now, gentlemen, Lamar Roach Jr., Renee Alvarado, the second fight on the zone. Managua, Nicaragua, El Gemelo. Washington, D.C. Lamont Roach Jr. face off now. Check that out on the zone Saturday night. There we go. Alright, so that's two fights. The coming is gonna be a good one. It's gonna be from Guatemala, the undefeated Maria Santiso. Thank you. All right, all right. Thank you. And her opponent from East LA, El Sereno, named one of the top pound for pound female fighters in the world, WBA minimum weight world champion, Sinisa Superbad Estrada. Oh, you got your own fan club coming in? As you should, right? As you should. How are you feeling? I feel great. Thank you. All right. She's sexy. What was into this? Excelente. Oh, you should go louder. <laughs> I feel great. Let's go. <laughs> you have a belt in front of you. You won it in different divisions. What about this division that, that you like so much? Um, you know, I feel most comfortable with this division just because I feel um, it's a na more of a natural weight class for me than fighting at 112 or even 108. Um, and I faced two very good world champions this year and defeated them both. So, um, you know, very, very confident and not only my skills and the way I feel physically, but also my mentality right now, I feel it's just at a championship level, and I'm, I'm ready for Saturday. Para ti, la primera vez que ven en Estados Unidos contra la campeona, ¿cómo te sientes? Primero, quiero darle gracias a Dios por la oportunidad, a Golden Boy y a mi promotor de Dios Promotion por esta gran oportunidad. Una de mis metas siempre ha sido ser campeona mundial, lo hemos ido trabajando desde hace mucho tiempo, y esta es una gran oportunidad la que se me está presentando para poder ser campeona del mundo y, y enfrentarme contra una gran boxeadora también. First, I'd like to thank God, Golden Boy. I've had a desire to be champion for a long time, and I thank everybody for this opportunity, and we will get the championship. Y pelear contra Sanisa, hay muchos que no quieren. ¿Tú por qué? To fight against Sanisa, some people don't want you. Why do you? Para ser campeón, tienes que ganarle al campeón. Y mi meta es ser campeona mundial. Tengo que enfrentarme a la campeona mundial. To be champion, you got to have the fortitude and the mental fortitude to go forward. And, and, I, and I have that. Lisa, women's boxing is on the rise. You know, Marlene opening up the show today. Some of you fought before. You see different fighters going all over the world doing things. When you started, it was hard to even get a fight. Yeah. Now you have a belt in front of you. You're a role model for these young ladies out there. How does that make you feel? It's, a, it's just amazing, and, and thank you to Golden Boy Promotions for giving me this platform to represent women's boxing, and like you said, there wasn't many women fighting when I was a little girl and coming up, and now we're everywhere, you know, now we're co-main events, main events, and it's just so awesome to see, so I just want to continue to represent women's boxing as best as I can, and keep being that role model for, for young girls, and, and not even girls, but young boys as well, so it's awesome. This division, you said this is where you feel best? But you'll find anybody anywhere, any division? <laughs> um, any, between uh, 105 and 112 are the divisions. My goals are to have bouts at all three of the, those divisions. So, yeah, we'll see what's next after this. You that, Rebecca? You that, Eric? It's <laughs> <to> work. But a team. Hey, that's what the is. It's a platform of the zone. It's a golden boy. It's a great opportunity. It's a big opportunity for you to fight a golden boy in the zone. What do you have to do to win? Bueno, lo que tengo que hacer para ganar ya es algo que venimos trabajando. Creo que no existen los milagros, existe el trabajo fuerte y el trabajo fuerte lo he hecho ya con mi equipo desde hace mucho tiempo. Y esta es una bonita oportunidad, es un 
una pelea coestelar y, y qué importante que le están dando esta oportunidad a las mujeres. Va a ser una gran pelea, de eso estoy completamente segura. Las dos traemos herramientas muy fuertes y vengo totalmente preparada. We have put in the work. We don't believe in miracles. Um, me and my team have put in the work. We are, we are co-main event as women for a championship title, and we will put on a good show. Selena, we're in Texas. Right. Come on. Selena is from El Sereno, California, East LA. From Guatemala. Maria Santiso. This will be the co-feature on The Zone. The way The Zone starts at 6 o'clock Pacific, 9 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock Texas time. Todd Grisham, Sergio Moran, Chris Mann is on the broadcast. Superbad, Sinisa Estrada. This is her WBA minimum weight world title on the line. That's the co-feature. Uh, and now, before we get to our main event, let's welcome Golden Boy President Eric Gomez. Eric, How's it going, Texas. Yes, You've been here before as a promoter, but you've also been here when Oscar was fighting. Remember David Kamau? Yeah, David Kamau. That was uh, one of the first times we were out here. And, uh, I mean, look, we love coming to Texas. It really is like a second home. Um, the fans always come out for the fights. Uh, yeah. We love championship fights. So, you know, it's, it's a good place for us. I mean, you come here to bring Surdo Ramirez, who this will be the second fight with him. What do you like about him? I mean, Surdo, I mean, what's not to like? He's undefeated, 42-0. Uh, you know, he's trying to get to that 50-0 mark. Anybody, anybody. And he's in a tough fight. You know, he's got a, a big puncher in front of him. You know, you don't get 17, you know, 23 wins, 17 knockouts. Anybody in boxing knows, you know, that guy, you know, you get touched. And he will land some punches. You know, anybody can go. So it's a dangerous fight, but with Surdo, you know, that's what he wants. He wants challenges, he wants the big fights. We've heard the undercard fighters a lot worse saying he wants to get after it. What do you like about him? No, I mean, that's that's a great fight. Um, if you follow the career of Renel Barraza, you don't want to miss his fights. No. He's relentless, he comes forward, he throws a lot of punches. Um, and Lamont, you know, obviously, you know, he fell just a little bit short of winning a world title. But in this fight here, you know, he's, he's got, you know, the possibilities of getting back into the chat, uh, title uh, uh, race. So, you know, it's going to be a good fight. Uh, Style-wise, it's great. And then what can I say about the girls? Yeah, you know, cool. I mean, the girls, I mean, it was a few years back that uh, our matchmakers, Roberto and, and Razo, they were like pushing, you know, for girls boxing, girls boxing, we got to do something with Anissa, we got to sign this girl. And at first, you know, I thought, you know, ah, these two guys are just a bunch of nasties. <laughs> you know, after watching these girls fight, you know, I mean, these girls can fight. And I've said this before, I mean, Senisa, she's not only great for women's boxing, I mean, she's one of the best fighters in the world. She really is. You know, the combinations, uh, hand speed, footwork, everything. Counter punching the jab, she's just great to watch. And, uh, and Marlene too, you know Marlene, Olympian. She's got all the experience in the world. These two girls are turning a lot of heads up. And they're bringing an audience with them. And, but as you said, at the end of the day, they can fight. They can fight. They can fight. You know, they're good looking. They can fight. Both of them. If Sulu gets through everything on Saturday, what's next for him? I know he's been saying for people. There's no, there's no secret. He wants people. This is a title eliminator for the WBA. He wants people. If that doesn't happen, Turby, I mean, he wants all the big fights. He wants to fight the big names, and that's what we're going to have. You know, a lot of guys say they want it, but it sounds like he's completely changed the match for the years where he's now calling for these guys, and he's very, very so vocal about it. What happened with him? Just, you know, that's what he wants. He wants to be great. If you want to be great, you know, you want to play against the big names. You know, you want to play against the Yankees. You want to play against the Lakers. You want, I mean, you, you name it in sports. I mean, you measure yourself against the great fighters, and that's what he wants. And uh, you'll see it Saturday live on The Zone. Sulgo Ramirez against Unieski Gonzalez, Mexico contra Cuba. You'll see that here in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, you know, one of the cool things about what Golden Boy does, you go a lot of behind the scenes features, and one of the things that the Golden Boy cameras were able to catch up with was the end of life of Sulgo Ramirez in camp. It's not time to check out Chasing History.
So leg endurance is probably one of the most important things for a judo. You know, being a 12 round fighter, I wanted to have legs and power all the way through through all 12 rounds. So it's a big emphasis in his training. Um, to kind of hit uh, that every single training session with us. Three, two, one, time. He pushed me like be better all the time. And right now I'm I'm, I'm a champion, a full on champion. We have uh, sparring, we're sparring 10 rounds a day with three very good fighters, experienced fighters, and bringing new guys so we can stay alert throughout all the phases, early game, mid game, and end game. amazing because they had like same mentality to be better and to be a champion. I like to be a surrounder around those people. I started training Gilberto about three years ago. I felt honored to get the chance to work with somebody as talented as, as he was. When I see a fighter training and stuff like that, I, I don't look at hand speed, I don't look at power, I don't look at this and that. Great, you have all that. All those play into a fighter's IQ. So I believe that the IQ is the most important thing and Gilberto's full of it. His ring IQ is very, very, very high. He loves calculating his combinations, making sure that every punch he throws is well placed. Don't miss Gilberto Zerto Ramirez versus Unieski the Monster Gonzalez. Live from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas, December 18th, only on the Zone. To watch the full episode of Chasing History, you can check out Go and the Boys' Fight Night page on Facebook Watch and, of course, on The Zone. And now we're ready to hear from the fighters that look to compete for the WBA Light Heavyweight Eliminator. Up first, looking to shake up the world, trying to take somebody's O, the tough Cuban contender, Unieski Gonzalez. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo te sientes? Eh, un saludo a todos los presentes. Eh, tengan muy buena tarde. Eh, todo bien, todo bien, todo bien. Gracias a ti por... por por la entrevista, por presentar más a mi equipo, eh, todo bien. Just like to say hello to everybody that attend, attended the weigh-in. Um, press conference, I'm sorry, the press conference, and um, everything's good. Everything's good, todo bien. And now, desde Mazatlán, Sinaloa, Mexico, he's been working on his English, he doesn't need a translator. Zurdo Ramirez, como te sientes? How do you feel? Muy bien, ya listo, I feel great. You feel great? Yes. You enjoying Always. San Antonio? Always, yeah. Yeah? I love the steak. Tomahawk. <laughs> you had a tomahawk? Yeah. Wait, you're making weight and you had a steak? Really? Easy, Easy for me. Really? Yeah. You, had a, you had a big steak before weighing. All right, must be nice. I don't know about that. Metabolism must be a good thing to have. All right, this fight right here, why take it? Um, it's a, a good challenge for me because it's an eliminator fight. And I'm ready for that. I've been working so hard for this fight and and to get the title fight. But I know that I need to pass through this guy and I'm ready. Estoy listo para pasar por Yuniski Gonzalez. Sé que es una pelea muy importante, eliminatoria para mí. Y he estado trabajando muy duro y voy a poner todo lo que he estado trabajando en el gimnasio. Yuniski, esta pelea contra Zurdo. ¿Estás sorprendido que quería pelear contigo? Were you surprised that he wanted to fight against you? Estaba sorprendido que quería pelear contra Trigo, contra Tri, Zurdo Ramírez. Bueno, me sorprende ahora que, que me hayan llamado a mí, eh, que, se me, que me hayan enterado que quería pelear conmigo. conmigo. Pues nada, yo contento, eh, agradecido por la oportunidad, sé la calidad que tiene eh, Zurdo Ramírez. Okay. Um, I'm surprised that they did call me, but um... I'm grateful for the opportunity to be fighting Sordo Ramirez. Tienes tiempo sin pelear, ¿por qué? You haven't fought in a while, why? No, no, no llevo mucho tiempo sin pelear. Llevo, creo que peleé hace como dos meses o tres meses en, en el sur de la Florida, Miami. Oh, okay. That's wrong. My, my mistake there. Pero esta pelea, ¿cómo te fue en entrenamiento? How was your camp? Eh, todo bien, todo perfecto, todo se trabajó duro. Eh, gracias a mi equipo que también me ayudó bastante. Eh, a todos los muchachos que colaboraron conmigo por allá, por el, por el sur de la Florida, haciendo con los guanteos, los esparres, y nada, todo, todo salió bastante bien, gracias a Dios, fue campo. My camp went well. I want to thank my camp for all the hard work that we put in. Zurdo, your second fight with Golden Boy. 
we, before you would, you didn't like press conference. You didn't talk. Now you talk a lot. Now you speak English. What happened? Well, it's part of the game. It's part of the game, and, and I want the people to know me more, and I had to talk more. But uh, I enjoy it now. I enjoy it. And disfruto estar hablando. Disfruto estar aquí con la gente. Antes, yo creo que era un poco la inseguridad. It was insecure a little bit. And now you're confident. I am. You also seem like you're enjoying boxing. Yep. Is it different? Pa yeah, I'm passionate in boxing, and I feel like this is um, what I want to do for life, you know. Even if I'm, I'm not in the ring, I want to be outside the ring, like, as a promoter. I, I want to thank Golden Boy and Oscar, everyone, to support me, to be here, and, and I mean, I feel grateful. Estoy agradecido, uh, Golden Boy, por todo el equipo, por todo lo que han hecho por mí. Y estoy agradecido, me siento bendecido. Gracias a Dios. You told me a couple months ago that before you didn't like boxing. You became a champion and you felt empty, you felt alone. Yeah, now it's it, different. Yeah, it, it is different because before it was, uh, I used to do a, a defense in the title fight in 68 and I didn't feel like I was a champ. I felt like I was empty inside. But um, after the coronavirus and everything, I started like doing meditation, thinking about myself and, and do yoga and, and I found myself in, in the dark place and I've been in the dark place a lot of time and I know that the, it will be a, a, the greatest in, in boxing, the number one pound for pound, pound for pound fighter and it just takes time, took time, take time for me. In español? Sí, uh, que he estado en el en el cuarto oscuro uh, por mucho tiempo, había estado en el cuarto oscuro por mucho tiempo y, y no disfrutaba el boxeo como lo disfruto ahora, antes hacía defensas y no lo, no lo, no lo disfrutaba, no me sentía como campeón. Entonces, hice meditación, yoga, me encontré conmigo durante el tiempo de coronavirus y creo que mucha gente también lo hizo durante ese tiempo porque aprendimos a, a vivir con uno mismo, a vivir en familia también y, y porque vivíamos muy rápido, muy rápido en, sin pensar en, en pues qué iba a pasar y, y pues se paró el mundo. That's it. Surdo Ramirez, Junieski Gonzalez, the main event, Saturday live on the zone from San Antonio, Texas. Face off right now, gentlemen. Parece acá. Tickets still available at Ticketmaster.com, AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas. Surdo Ramirez, Mexico. Junieski Gonzalez, Cuba. You'll check that out Saturday from the AT&T Center starting at 6 o'clock. Pacific time, 9 o'clock Eastern, on the zone. That's Todd Grisham, Chris Maddox, Sergio Mora on the broadcast for you. Ricardo Celis on the zone Spanish. You can check that out. All right, round of applause for the main event for Saturday. Surdo Ramirez, Unieski Gonzalez. All right, gentlemen, that'll be good. All right, all right, let's go. Good luck to you, suerte de ustedes. One last chance for your pictures. There you go. Sort of a nice boots. You're in Texas. You're feeling right. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to DAZONE, the incredible card this Saturday live from the AT&T Center. Tickets still available at Ticketmaster.com. Goodbye, everybody. See you Saturday from San Antonio, Texas. The undefeated Gilberto Zurdo. This guy is on a mission. Oh, man. It's his own turbo right now. That is it, and that's all. Union Gonzalez. It's going to be a terrific fight. Someone's going to get knocked out for sure.